Surprise! Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Teja, but you can also call me Tay and welcome in. I'm so excited to have you here. Today we are touring my island gumdrop. It is all finished. Um, I spent the last week pretty much grinding out this island, finishing up all the little details around, and I'm really happy with how it came out. If you guys have been on the channel for a while now, you may be familiar with this island. This is the first island where I kind of restarted on the channel and worked on. So it's finally done. It's been a long, long time coming. Uh, but if you're excited for today's video, I would greatly appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It'd mean the absolute world to me. I'd love to have you guys join this little community that we are building here. And I guess without further ado, let's start the tour. So here we are at my entrance. I'll go ahead and pull up the map for you all. There is the DA at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to visit for yourself. And here are all of my villagers. I love them all. They are all so, so cute. I really wanted to keep my villagers in a candy slash gingerbread theme, which I guess, I, I don't think I said that, but this island is themed after like gingerbread and candy and all sweet things in the winter. So it's like a candy land forest kind of vibe. So um, I think all these villagers match so well. We have Sprinkle, Fauna, Maple, Diana, Meringue, Mint, Cookie, Flurry, Candy, and Bee. They are all so cute. This is kind of the first time where I've had an all-girls island, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and yeah, let's just get started. We are here at my entrance. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of color going on here, filled with snow and... Um, little gingerbread elements. I made this path down here and then this code over here. I just think it really fits my overall vibe that I was going for and my house is here at the entrance. I wanted it to be a gingerbread house so um yeah I thought this I really wanted this entrance to be like full like you're entering a candy forest right from the get-go so I really love how it came out and I have actually decorated the interiors so I'll go ahead and show you that as well. So here's the interior of my house and it's probably different from what you were expecting. I've actually done a gingerbread house like interior in the past on one of my past islands and that was themed after like fairy tales and nursery rhymes so I wanted to do something a little different this time even though that would have fit very perfectly. <laughs> I wanted to tap into Christmas because I've never done a Christmas island before and this was the perfect opportunity. I really love 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 this interior so much. It's probably one of my favorites not gonna lie. Um, it's just so cozy and I wanted to stick with like the wood tones and natural vibes. I have a giant Christmas tree here in the corner with some presents, a little book nook, <laughs> and candles and a bunch of sweet treats all around. So very cozy is what the vibe is. And back there you ha I have a giant window seal that looks out into the snow landscape. So I love how this interior came out. I also designed upstairs, so let's go ahead and head up there. So here's the upstairs and I wanted to make this also kind of cozy but up here we have a little kitchen um, and they are decorating gingerbread houses up here. You can sit down in these chairs at this table, decorate this little gingerbread house and it's just a really cozy kitchen and I have dropped sprinkles and candy all over the floor to match the theme and I also have this little backdrop here with the candy window seal and I just think it's so nice. I really love how this came out as well. And then I have another little window backdrop back there too. And over here on the right is a little like living room. I figured it'd be super nice to decorate gingerbread houses and then come over here and watch a cozy Christmas movie in front of the fireplace. I really love this little section of this house as well. Super cute. I, As you can see, I kind of added the little glittery effect on some of the items up here to make it very <laughs> whimsical and magical. So yeah, I pretty much only decorated upstairs and my main room in this house, but that's my house interior. All 
right, and speaking of house interiors, um, all of my villager houses, I have decorated their houses as well on the inside and outside. So if you wanted to visit those, then you can. Each one is themed after the villager themselves because each one kind of reminded me of a different candy or element of sweetness. So yes, um, here we have Flurry's house. She's not home, so unfortunately I won't be going in her house. Um, I may or may not edit in some clips of the house interiors because I am kind of proud of them so I definitely want to showcase them. Flurry's house is kind of the one that I started with first and I wanted to- she just reminded me of like a marshmallow <laughs> so or just candy and soft like I guess sugar or frosting in a way so I wanted to keep her house very simple kind of white tones with some pops of color in there um her house is probably the most normal looking house out of all of the villager houses, so yeah, it's really cute inside. And I think we're going to start the tour to the left. In my update video of this island, I went right, but I wanted to start this official tour to the left this time. Up here on this cliff, we have Fauna's house. Fauna is also not home, unfortunately, but she has a gingerbread kind of house interior. She reminded me of gingerbread the most out of all my villagers. So I went with very light brown tones to make it look like her in the inside of her house is kind of like a gingerbread cookie in a way. Um, yeah, so I think that turned out really good as well. So we're going to head back down here, um, down this incline, and over here tucked in the corner is resin services. And I left some presents out here for you guys if you wanted to pick them up. I picked up a few um, of the little things that you can hold. Um, but these are outfits that you could wear if you like to fit in with the theme. And I have lined resident services with this candy, um, bunny day fencing, and then the mermaid fencing. It just reminded me of candy, so I enclosed resident services all the way around, so really there's only one way to go in and one way to go out. Also, I have made my own designs, which you could access if you want to download any of those as well here at the kiosk. Alright, so we're gonna officially start entering the forest here. So up this incline, it's this island is just kind of filled with all the colorful things. A lot of frozen trees, the bunny day trees, this colorful path. I love this path so much. Um, also, if you're interested, all of the codes that I use can be found on my Pinterest, which I will link down in the description below if you're interested in getting any of these codes. I really love this one. It's super cute. I kind of think of it as splattered pink frosting, so um, it just really fit the island. So heading down this way, we are getting further into the forest and we are coming up on Cookie's house. I didn't really change the exterior of Cookie's house because it kind of just matched this area already. She was the last one that I scanned in for this island and I already decorated the outside of her house because I knew I wanted Cookie to be on this island. And just look at her exterior, it just matches already so I didn't change a single thing about it. But let's go ahead and take a look inside. So here we are inside Cookie's house. I wanted to make her house a little bakery where she could bake all the cookies that she desires. So here's her little entrance and maybe she also sells her cookies as well. And back here, she, oops, excuse me Cookie, I need to scoot on by you, thank you. Back here we have her little kitchen. She has all of her ingredients down here and back here she is rolling out the dough. I love this code so much, it's so cute. Um, and yeah, just a ton of little details all around. I'm really bad at showing house interiors, I apologize. Um, but just a bunch of baking items. Um, above I put these little like heat things. I don't really know what they're actually called, but like you typically see them above ovens or kitchens in general. But yeah, I wanted to just make her a little cozy spot to bake a bunch of Christmas cookies. And there's like a little pantry of all the cookies she's made in the corner so yeah I think this turned out really cute all right moving along we're gonna cross this bridge here um, and head over to the left some more here I'm going to climb up this ladder this is kind of my little area 
that just has a bunch of the splatter code all over the place. I just really wanted to throw this all over the ground and here I have this colorful bridge. I do use a lot of the same items throughout this entire island because I wanted to keep it fairly consistent and keep that whole candy forest vibe. So you're gonna see a ton of the standee items and the frozen items, glowing moss, the bunny day items. Those I really felt fit the whole candy vibe. So yeah, it's just a very big dense forest. This is probably the most cluttered island I've ever done. Um, and it's definitely a lot going on, but I think that's just how it was meant to be. So coming over here, we're coming across a villager neighborhood in a way. Honestly, from down here you can only access Bee's house, but up there on the left is Min's house and on the right is Diana's house. All the villager houses are themed to be like a gingerbread style, so they all are like this tan and brown color variation. but. I thought this was a really cute area as well, and let's go check out Bee's house. Alright, here is Bee's house. Honestly, one of my favorites of the houses I've done. She just really reminded me of like a chocolate chip, <laughs> so I wanted to make her house a whole chocolate themed house. Maybe she makes her own chocolate in this house. Each villager I kind of have a little story for, so each one either has a business or they make their own candy. Um, that they're themed after. So this is Bee's house. A bunch of these chocolate chunks and chocolate bars all over the place. I used the cube lights to customize them to look like these chocolates. And yeah, I also wanted to make it a little colorful so I added this bunny day bed and um, the bunny day basket. Also just to fit in with this chocolate little dessert here on this tray. Um, but yeah, I really love this house. So this is Bee's house. I think it's super cute and definitely, definitely chocolatey. <laughs> so we're gonna move on along. Here is probably where the pathing gets a little confusing, but I tried my best to lay out where you should go. And I feel like you can't really get lost on this island because it's one giant loop. There's only one direction to go, but you hop across these little rivers here and we come across my giant birthday cake. Now I can't take credit for this build, I actually found this idea on Pinterest and I honestly like how theirs turned out much better. They have these little drop strawberries in their cake and it looks so cute, but I wanted mine to be a little different so it really has a lot of the frosting and candles in it. So um, yeah, I thought this would be a really fun build to include on this island, so it's a giant birthday cake here just in the middle of the forest <laughs> and then we're gonna come across this build and head over here to the right again just a bunch of details going on pretty cluttered but also colorful and we're gonna head up this incline and this is meringue's little spot is she home i'm not sure if she's home no i don't believe she's home inside meringue's house i decided to make a little strawberry tea party chocolate covered strawberry tea party i thought that would fit her very well she just seemed like the type that would have or enjoy tea parties and she just seems like the perfect host for that so that's what i went with on the inside of her house i really like how it turned out as well um and yeah perfect for meringue so we're gonna head over here to the corner and this is the area where i had the most difficulty decorating and this is was an area that was left empty when I did my update tour of this island, but I decided to just fill it in with a candy carnival <laughs> filled with gyroids. Um, a lot of you left wonderful suggestions for me on what ideas I could do for this little area back here, and I did try a couple of them, but because this area is kind of oddly shaped, I just ended up going with this, and it was fairly simple for me to do, so yeah, it was quick and easy, and I just themed the carnival after candy. And over here, there are some gyroids decorating some gingerbread houses. <laughs> I think they're so cute, and someone did suggest as well that I use gyroids in a build, and I, com I was like, oh my goodness, how could I forget about gyroids? They're so perfect. They fit in so well for this island, so I definitely decided to add them in that carnival area. But over here is a little extension of the forest and I wanted to do a little nod to 
a nutcracker. So here I have just a little elegant spot with these bunnies and then this dress, ballet dress, and then the nutcracker himself. So yeah, the nutcracker is definitely like a whole Christmas Eve candy type thing. So I thought it would fit perfectly on this island somewhere. So heading across here, we're gonna head to the back. This is more of the carnival, but back here is my gingerbread train. This was an idea I came up with really early on in this island when I came up with this idea, but I wasn't sure how I was going to execute it, and I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. I think it's really cute. I just used the, um, pup I'm not sure what the name of this item is, but it's like a little puppet show cart thing, and I just turned those around, and then I put some of the short, simple panels with a gingerbread design, and these, uh umbrellas here that kind of remind me of peppermint to be like the giant wheels of the train so yeah there is my gingerbread train I am happy with how this came out so it's a little train station tucked back here and there's the lovely meringue she fits so well in this little area I'm really glad I put her house close by and then also over here tucked in the corner we're gonna loop through this little gingerbread forest and back here I wanted to do a peppermint section on the island and so I have a lot of red white and pink oh there's another there's another flower that grew here but it's kind of too late for me to <laughs> pick it because I already set the DA but it's okay anyways this is my peppermint area I have a lot of the splattered pink frosting all over the place and I wanted to make a peppermint village so I used the dollhouses here piled up some more gyroids and back here I just decided to fill in space with this sunken waterfall. It's not really meant to represent anything, I just thought it would be pretty. And I haven't done a sunken waterfall in a long time, so that was kind of fun to do again. So yeah, it's just a little overlook in this peppermint village here. I used some of the Mario items and these um, mush items to fit the whole candy peppermint vibe. But yeah, there is my peppermint village. And actually, hidden back here is a way to get to Mint and Diana's houses, so you can just hop across the river back there. It is a little secret entrance. Um, so this is Mint's house. Luckily she's home, so I'll come back to her in a minute. But here is Diana's house over here, and there she is outside. She has a little frosting interior. She just reminds me of frosting, so I went with very white and... Um, lush decorations on the inside of her house and that one turned out okay not one of my favorites but it's fairly simple and back over here at min's house let's go ahead and visit her house so here is min's house i wanted to go with the whole peppermint vibe i know she's like the mint mint <laughs> like the the mint green kind of mint um but I just loved the whole peppermint vibe, so I wanted to go with red and white. And here's her interior. I really love how this one came out as well. I thought it was really fun to do. Definitely a bunch of white and red references for peppermint. All red <laughs> wallpaper and flooring. And then just touches of cute Christmas stuff. So I have a little white Christmas tree for her as well. This gingerbread dress to match the theme. And it's just very simple and cute. Her house is kind of just a giant living room slash bedroom, so yeah. And there's the window seal. Once again, I use that wallpaper a ton <laughs> in a bunch of house interiors. Um, and I also lined the walls with those neon lights alternating red and white to be peppermint. So yeah, there's Mint's house. Alright, moving on, we're gonna have to loop back a little bit because this is the very corner of my island. Um, so we're gonna head back to the candy theme park slash boardwalk thing <laughs> and head back this way. And then we're gonna head to the right. So across this bridge, we're coming up on my gingerbread castle. This was a really, really fun build to do. I love it so much. I think it really fits the whole gingerbread theme and yeah it's just also a really great filler space like it took up a lot of space on the island when I was kind of struggling and running out of some ideas 
but I think it turned out really great. I love it so much and just definitely fits the whole theme like I said. And I don't know, I just love making giant lakes as well, so I kind of just added a few details in the middle of the lake and surrounded it by trees to give it that whole foresty vibe. And yeah, that's my ginger brick castle. So heading down this way, we're entering the gummy forest is kind of what I like to call this area because this area is for Candy and Candy is a pink mouse but she kind of looks like a gummy candy. There's her house back there which I will go to in just a minute but um, she looks like a gummy candy to me so I wanted to tap into the whole gummy vibe so I used the frozen trees and these cube lights to be like little gum candy things <laughs> and um, yeah, I also added these green and pink reindeer because I just thought they fit in very well. So this is Candy's house and luckily she's home. Her house is definitely one of my favorites, so I'm glad we get to see it. Alright, here's Candy's house and yes, it's very pink. Very vibrant. <laughs> and that's the point because I feel like her house just had to be the whole gummy theme and candy vibe so her house is full on candy because that's her name so I just made it very simple I have these two wooden beds customized in the like cute variation and I hung a ton of these um, I think they're part of the glowing moss set but I can't remember the actual name of the items but yeah I hung those on the ceiling to make it look like candy's growing from the ceiling and yeah, she can't really walk around too much in her house, unfortunately, but I just thought these items really needed to fit in her house. So that's Candy's house. I love it so much. Okay, let's keep on moving through. So, oh, there's Fauna. She's so cute. I love her so much. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite villagers. Coming this way, it's kind of tucked over here, so you might miss it if you don't know or if you aren't aware, but up these inclines is heading back to a little lookout on on the island one of my favorite lookouts and this is the candy factory here is where all of the candy on the island that people can't actually eat is produced um so you yeah i i'm not really sure how else to describe it <laughs> it's just a candy factory so i thought this was a really fun build um i love making lookout type builds and anything that's kind of castle related so this was really fun to do. Um, I just decided to fill in the edges with these frozen trees and some of the giant vine items to fit in with the whole forest vibe so yeah you can actually climb down here um, onto this land bridge if you wanted to get a closer look but this is the candy factory over there you can see <laughs> they're producing some cupcakes and it's like coming out of the conveyor belt down there. I thought that was a really fun detail and there's some pipes and just a bunch of little elements that I thought fit very nicely. So yeah, that's the factory. And let's continue on with the tour. We're actually almost done because like I said, it's just one giant loop so there's not much to see and I don't have too many of those lookout moments. It's kind of just one giant candy forest so it's really just a more scenic kind of island so definitely different from a lot of islands I've done before but up this incline is actually Sprinkle's house. Sprinkle has a ice cream shop that's her little business that she runs. Um, I thought this one was really cute as well. I have like this sprinkle deck flooring that in her house to match her name and I just thought it was perfect for her to own an ice cream shop because she's a penguin, her name's Sprinkle, it just was like no-brainer so yeah Sprinkle owns a little ice cream shop there and I actually really love the exterior of her house I feel like it's probably one of my favorites just that brown and blue and then the roof together is just a really nice combo so um, I did try to make each villager exterior similar to their vibe I usually like to do that for all my islands if I can if it, the theme allows it but yeah and over here, her little neighbor is Mabel, my favorite villager. So let's go ahead and check out her house. And here's Mabel's house. She is so cute. I love her so much. <laughs> just look at her. I, she's just adorable. My all-time favorite villager. Um, but her house, I wanted to really 
theme after what Maple loves, and she loves reading. She's a very cozy, quaint bear cub, so she kind of runs this little bakery um, here, so it's like a little coffee shop, kind of, but also a library. So she sells these baked goods here in the corner, and then her customers can come over here to sit down, pick up a book, and read by the fireplace. Um, and here I have little elements of gingerbread on the wall, some literature wording on there with, on the sign, and then there's her little bedroom um, in the corner since this is like the interior of her house and she runs this little business. So I thought this was a really cute house interior and concept and it just fit Maple really well I think. So I love it so much. Okay, so we are going to head back through here, and this is kind of the really main candy forest element. Like, this is probably the first real build besides the entrance that I'd done, and this is when their theme really came to me, and I figured out what items I really wanted to use on this island. So this is like a little candy forest. Of course, the whole island is, but like, this is the main candy forest that you could walk through and get a very nice view. Um right here so I think it's really cute probably the most open area as well <laughs> you can walk through and I just love it so much and you may have noticed that we actually haven't come across any of the in-game buildings yet really because they're all on the beaches and the beaches aren't really accessible unless you really try to get to them but there's nothing really going on on the beach oh and there's myself because I am visiting this dream from my other switch so yeah there's me and as you can see, we're back at the entrance, so that's honestly all of Gumdrop. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I've had so much fun with this island, but it was definitely a challenge for me. Um, I don't really know what it was. It's I've probably been working on this since September, I think, or even November, probably. Um, yeah, I think it was November because it was after Halloween, but... Yeah, I, it's been a long one, but it's been really fun for me to do as well, and I really love how it came out. So yes, um, me and my other self are going to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and also subscribe if you enjoyed and you're new. I'd love to have you guys join this community on my channel. Yeah, I can't believe how much we're growing here on the channel, so I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will be restarting this island, like always, starting a new theme. And I can't wait to show that to you guys. So that is all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!